guys, this is Janet and welcome back to my Tambayan. So today guys is Monday night. It's 11.23rd and it's three days away from Thanksgiving here in America. So um, tonight we're gonna make brine for our turkey. So I'm gonna make turkey for um, Thanksgiving and then after that we're also going to make banana because look at that guys look at that banana when banana gets that ripe it's just way too sweet to eat so um, the best way to eat the banana is to make a bread out of it all right guys I already prep our um, ingredients for our banana bread so let's get started um hang on one second i for before i forgot so i already preheat our oven into 300 degrees fahrenheit so we have our um, loaf pan here and we're going to just spray it with butter spray just to grease the side and the bottom para hindi siya mag stick guys there you go and then we're just gonna spread this like that so all the area is well coated with the butter spray now if you don't have butter spray no big deal um the softened butter will do okay so yan na yan guys look at that now we're going to start mixing our ingredients so first thing first so we have here four bananas and I have one tablespoon of chia seeds. This is optional guys. If you don't have chia seeds, no big deal. Um, I just like the flavor of chia seed and this is very healthy for you. Very good in fiber and very nutritious. So if you have chia seeds, uh, I love using chia seeds in my baking. And then in here, there's three ingredients here. I don't know if you can see it. So I have one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon uh, powder and also a half a teaspoon of salt. So there's three ingredients there. I also have here approximately one fourth cup of plain yogurt. And I also have walnut, one cup of walnut we're going to add that in our bread and here it looks like chocolate chips you guys look at that looks like chocolate chips but um, this is not chocolate chips this is what we call carob chips carob chips is non coffin chips and it is used um, widely used in vegan baking so here's the packaging this is what I use here that carob, carob chip this is what it is so that's that and here for sweetener I choose to use agave agave is a plant it's a Mexican plant and this sweetener this is vegan replacement for honey this is what I use organic agave and also I have a half a cup of margarine this is vegan margarine and of course i have one and three fourth cup of all-purpose flour okay so let's start guys we are going to we're going to work on our banana so just you know simply just peel them away drop drop them into the bowl and just repeat the process until all your bananas is in your bowl let's just do that and oh of course we have we have here two eggs and then i preheat our oven to 300 degrees fahrenheit i'm not sure what is the celsius equivalent of that i'm sorry you guys can just the new millennium best friend is google so you can just google it guys google nyo na lang ang 350 fahrenheit i think every household here in america has this 
little thing called potato masher. So this is what we use when we, when we make um, mashed potatoes. So we're just going to use this to mash our banana. Okay, so that's done. So let's just scrape that. Tiloko natin, guys. Ano bang, ano bang tilok sa Tagalog, guys? So, hirap naman itong Tagalog, eh. So let's just scrape and, and make sure we get all the yumminess in there. Alright. Now, for our eggs, we're just going to incorporate this into our banana so slightly beaten your eggs and then add this into the banana so basically guys what we're doing here is we're just adding all our wet ingredients all right give it a little stir all right and to that we're going to add our sweetener our agave guys that's, that was half a cup of agave and into this we're going to add our melted margarine and scrape that baby out all right give it another stir and of course our yogurt Now that our wet ingredients are all marrying over here, we're going to work on our dry ingredients. So, let's put that aside and into a one and one third cup of flour, we're going to add this three ingredients. So, it goes in there. Okay. Give it a mix. Okay and then our chia seeds okay now we're going to incorporate all our ingredients together so here is our wet ingredients again into our wet ingredients we're going to add our dry ingredients so we're just gonna add it slowly That cinnamon guy smells like smells like holiday, you know? The smell of cinnamon. Ooh, reminds me of happy days. So we're just going to incorporate our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients and just lightly, slightly don't overwork your butter. And then after that, we are going to add our nuts and our carob chips. Here's one cup of nuts, walnuts, and three fourth cups of carob chips. There you go. And just mix it again. And here is your butter. This is the consistency that we are looking for. Okay, so now this is ready to be transferred over into our loaf pan. We need to get all of that into our baking pan. We're not gonna waste anything. Tiloko natin, guys. Anong tilok, guys, sa Tagalog? Sa Bisaya kasi ang tawag nito tilok. Ayan, guys. Ayan. Hmm. Oops. Made a mess. So, ito, guys. Ito na yung butter natin. Okay? So, now we're going to put this in the oven, guys. For 40 minutes to 1 hour. In there. And then, let's set our timer. 
Timer on, 40 minutes, and start. So in 40 minutes, we're going to check and see how it is. So I'm just gonna clean up and then I will be back. All right, guys, see that sound? Um, timer is off. So we're going to check our banana bread. Oh, oh, smells so good, huh? Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Looks good already, but it's not done yet. So let's rotate that and give it a few more minutes. So we'll give it more. Let's try two minutes. Mmm, smells so good already, but it's not quite done yet. So, okay, guys, we're gonna come back later and see if our bread is done. Okay, guys, so. I add another two minutes so this is gonna be 44 minutes in total so let's see <gasps> okay this is perfect look at this looks so good look at that guys and we're going to let it cool that looks good can't wait to try this so guys we're just going to give it time to cool down and then we're gonna come back and then slice into our banana bread and see how it is okay guys so I think our bread is well rested now so we can now see cut into it and see oh guys that guys oh. It's still steaming guys, look at that. So fluffy. Let's see. Oh, so fluffy guys. Look at this guys. So fluffy. Okay, let's give it a try. First bite guys. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is perfect in the morning, guys, with tea or coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I do drink tea. Oh, good. This is much too matamis, guys. Tama tama lang. Mmm, mmm. Da. Crunchiness from our nuts. It's good. Really good. I'm happy camper. So that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So once again, thank you and I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Bye, good night, and keep safe.